Had we not chosen Care Meridian, I honestly don't know where my husband would be today. I don't think he would have gotten the care, the attention, the therapy, the love that he, he received at Care Meridian. And I, I honestly believe there's no other place better. If I hadn't brought Mike to Care Meridian, he would be still sitting in a board and care home because I couldn't do anything else for him. I couldn't care for his needs at home. Every year, over two million people suffer a traumatic brain or spinal cord injury. Countless more suffer from a variety of catastrophic illnesses and debilitating progressive diseases. The recovery can be long and expensive. At a time where cost containment is so critical, we save an average of 40% per day by reducing acute length of stay. The reason we're able to do this is through business model innovation where we bring many of the capabilities you would find in a hospital to our community-based program. This allows us to operate at a lower fixed cost and avoid some of the more onerous and expensive regulatory requirements. Care Meridian is hands and shoulders above what one would call a skilled nursing facility because of the attention that's given to each individual patient. The staffing ratio is huge. I mean, every patient is taken care of, taken out of bed, wheeled outside, personally attended to, help with feeding. The care is so uniform in terms of making sure that patients are well cared for in every aspect. Folks can look out any of the, the huge windows we have on a regular basis and see that, that real life is still going on outdoors, like life is not stopped because they may have experienced a catastrophic illness or injury, like there's, there's so much to look forward to. Care Meridian success is a function of three key components. The first is we build a home-like environment. That is a tremendously important but intangible way of promoting healing for the patients. The first thing they see coming into our facility looks like what they left before they got injured. Secondly, our staff to patient ratios are very rich. We have a staff to patient ratio of one to four and that allows us to give nine and a half to 10 nursing hours per patient day. And third, we've been doing this for over 20 years. The collective experience that our staff has, the ability to see a patient do an assessment and diagnose what that patient needs and how they will recover is, uh, is absolutely essential. And so we bring that intellectual property, that knowledge to the care plan and we individualize that care plan and with our staffing ratios a home-like environment we're able to deliver a much better result. And how do you feel today? Okay. For a patient like Ron, his biggest goal is quality of life. Our challenge is meeting the ongoing care requirements of a progressive disease like ALS and at the same time providing an environment where Ron's able to have the greatest level of independence possible. With facilities throughout the western U.S., we're filling a need in the area of catastrophic care management that's largely been an impossible and frustrating challenge for traditional health care providers. Care Meridian's patients are slow to recover, and because of that, they don't meet the requirements of a traditional care setting. These patients end up with extended or prolonged acute care stays that are extremely expensive, and they fail to produce the expected clinical outcome. The insurance industry estimates that roughly 5% of these cases drive 40% of the cost in the system. These are those types of cases. Our impressive growth curve is evidence of that strong demand in every market to cost effectively manage these cases. And the care meridian delivery model fills that gap. If I could speak to a family member about bringing someone to care meridian, I'd say don't even hesitate for a moment. Partners in Care Foundation is a not-for-profit. We have a passion for helping people stay well and access care when they need it. We work closely with healthcare providers to help change the way care is delivered, create broader set of choices and resources. One of the areas that concerns us the most, we spend 25% of the entire Medicare budget in the last year of life, and yet we see so much suffering. We see people in the intensive care unit who maybe didn't want to be there that long. We see people who need to understand the treatments available and to think through what choices they would like to make about how to spend this very valuable time of living near the end of life. Before I was on this program, I was in and out of the hospital 
several times, many times twice a month. So it's been a godsend. My husband is here. He doesn't have to stress and strain, mainly getting me in and out of the house, in and out of the car. My health care nurse seems almost like a member of the family because I see her once a week. So I have extreme peace of mind when I'm in my own home. Previously we had care, cure, and if we couldn't cure an illness, uh, we went to hospice, but it's too big a gap. The in-home palliative care program is designed to fill that gap. It helps them understand and work through their complex choices at that time. It brings them physician home visits, nurses, social workers for emotional support, chaplains for spiritual support, and a decision support talking through what they want. And I also like having the ability to call anytime I need extra help. One of the key features is a call center. It's available all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can call and find someone who knows your condition and what you need. So if someone's in pain, short of breath, if everyone's afraid, they don't know how to handle what's going on, they can get immediate access to medical care without calling 911. Once you call 911, they have to take care of you, take you to the emergency room, and you're caught back in the hospital. So this is a critical feature. Well, from patient interviews that we conducted, we found that patients who received the in-home palliative care program experienced greater satisfaction as compared to those that received standard care. I'm at ease, and my health care nurse seems almost like a member of the family because I see her once a week. Also, research shows that most people prefer to die in their homes. And those that were in the in-home palliative care program, 70% were able to die in their home as compared to only half of those receiving standard care. And by shifting the site of care from the hospital and the emergency room into the home, providing better support for the patient and their family in the home, we were able to reduce costs by 33%. We're currently working on disseminating this model and adopting it for other environments, for medical groups, managed care organizations, and primary care facilities so that we can increase access for more people. Last October, when I met uh, my home health care nurse, I haven't seen a hospital since. So we are very proud of our work in helping to develop and now helping to gain adoption, widespread adoption by health care providers of in-home palliative care. I'm Jason Gorovic, CEO of Teladoc. Access to primary care is one of the fundamental problems with our healthcare system today. And as we move towards 2014 and a massive expansion of coverage, this problem is rapidly going to become a crisis. We spend over $30 billion unnecessarily at emergency rooms and urgent care centers. And people who can't get access to primary care and go to work anyway cost the American workforce approximately $180 billion a year. We were formed in 2002 to really address the three primary problems in healthcare, access, cost, and quality. We improve access for people all over the country, regardless of where they are. We do that by providing access to a national network of primary care physicians, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the average response time from the time you request a consultation to the time you're actually speaking with a teledoc physician is only 22 minutes. There's no time limit on the amount of time that someone can spend with a teledoc physician. And no matter how long they spend, it always costs only $38. That's not only less than an office visit costs, but it's dramatically less than $1,000 that you'll spend if you end up in the emergency room because you can't get into your see your primary care doctor. Our physicians are the top quality physicians. They're all board certified. They have an average of 15 years experience and they have specialties in internal medicine, family medicine, emergency medicine, or pediatrics. We provide services to employers, large health plans, associations, and consumers across the country. And on average, we save our customers $260 every time they do a consultation with a board-certified Teladoc physician. 91% of our members report that they've had their issue completely resolved by the Teladoc physician. 
and 97% report being satisfied with the encounter. But one employer customer reported to us that they've seen a 6% reduction in their overall emergency room utilization. I spoke with one of our members, James F. He's a 38-year-old male. James thought that the chest pains that he was having were really nothing to worry about. He couldn't believe that at 38, he would be having anything that could be serious enough to warrant going to the emergency room or the doctor's office. Well, it turns out that the teledoc physician appropriately diagnosed that he was in the early stages of having a heart attack and immediately got him to the emergency room. When I talked to James, he told me that he truly believes that the only reason he was there to celebrate his 39th birthday was because he had access to Teladoc. The Teladoc solution and the Teladoc technology can have such a big impact that we're expanding the footprint and expanding where we can help the healthcare system. Teladoc is going to help primary care physicians improve access to their practices by providing them with Teladoc Connect. By wrapping around a physician's practice, with our network of physicians, we enable that doctor to be available or have their practice be available 24-7, 365. Further, we're adding a new set of applications, mobile apps, that enable doctors and patients to interact with each other via an iPhone or an iPad and have video consultations right from the device in their hand. Teladoc's growing rapidly. We provide service today to over 3 million members, and we expect to more than double as we move into the first quarter of 2012. I'm really excited about Teladoc's future and our ability to make a major impact on access, cost, and quality. And I look forward to seeing you as a Teladoc member.